Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back at Round Top in Warrington, right? Warrington, yes. where are we? I am with Tammy, Vintage Uprising, Texas, and a new friend, Lori B. Avenue Thrifter. Y'all, she has a YouTube channel. I just found it this morning on the way here, and uh, she's starting out, so go check her out. But we are here at Round Top Bar W Field, right, Tammy? Mm -hmm. That's where we are. Um, I always have to ask, because Tammy's the one that found this place for us, and it is open air antiques and vintage all day. So we got a lot of ground to cover, so let's go shopping. So here's the deal. We've already lost David. Um, this is his card, but he's nowhere around. So I'm gonna let them look for him. And y'all need a signal, like Lovey calls me. Wait, I found David. It's like, where's Waldo? David, found him. David's a little locked in right now. Okay, y'all, I just found this and look. Huh? Patterns Linda are made I'm this in six yeah, period. So Great job, Florida. Linda. Yeah. And, uh, Great job. Yeah, Good job. Go now look at this, Jimmy. That's pretty. How pretty is that? It's a little base. And she had these. Those are pretty too. I like the color. Yes. And there's some crackle. I was going to say, do you do much with crackle? I haven't had a lot of crackle, I mean, I honestly. Either. Not at all. I haven't picked it up. But there's a custard, but it's... it's a, I love that blue one. Mm. I like that one. I didn't see that one all the way Aww. It's a signed piece of Benton. That's pretty. That's a piece of Benton. And the dish behind the bell is a piece of Benton. Yeah. Look, I like this right here. I don't know, but I like it. Ah, and it opens. So that's a mid-century uh, uh, little telephone table. Telephone table yeah. That's fun. Christine, you need these brass candlesticks. They're probably about three feet tall. Look how big those suckers are. Mm-hmm. Look at the little cupy. Oh my gosh, I love that little cupy doll. And I think this is such a good idea. Christine, look at these little cameos that I found. Aren't those pretty? You love a cameo. You know I can't resist one of these little hankies. They're so pretty. Guess we really don't have trouble, y'all. <laughs> Look, Katie. All of your industrial tins. Look at that one. There's a name for this, but I can't remember. Look at those. That's beautiful. Remember when I found one of these? I found one of those. Does anybody remember that? This is pretty cool. You see that little bird? Not broken or anything. 
And is this a Douglas Davis? I just picked, remember I just showed y'all I picked this, one of those up. Cool toys. Oh y'all, look at this. Little Roy Rogers lunch box. And you're asking 145. Does it have the, no, doesn't have the thermos. That would be neat, wouldn't it? Got some stacks of ephemera here. Postcards, pictures. Oh, that one's cute. To my Valentine. And some vintage fishing lures. You know, I love a fishing lure. There's a foam. Oh, that's foam. Need to bring Lovey over here to look at some of these. Oh, there's probably one of those frogs that hit me in the eye when my daddy and I were fishing, y'all. I told that story one time in a video, and Miss Martha sent me a frog. So fun. Okay, y'all, we found this. And we determined, mmm, flavor magic. <laughs> it's only $4. We're on the hunt for a very specific milk jug. And it is by Pour It Dairy. So if y'all know anything about Pour It Dairy, P-O-R-R-I-T-T, -T, we are looking for a milk jug bottle for a friend from that dairy. It was her family dairy. Okay, there's the girls. We keep losing the guys, but we can find the girls. Okay, Misty and Mark, we would have something for Mark to do. Go through all these cars. They're $2 each and find the good one. And Miss Martha couldn't be with us today. So, Martha, you know we got to stop and look at patterns just for you, girl. Just for you. Sassy. They got so much good stuff out here, y'all. So much good stuff. And can y'all believe Tammy walked right past this? She walked right past that. I cannot believe that, Tammy. Here's a bunch of cats. These are cute. These little cats, those are cute. There's an angry kitten. That one's angry, y'all. I wonder if these, these are Fenton swans. And let's see. little bitty is super cute and there's some side glass clowns clown alert oh that is beautiful yeah, I love that is so so pretty lilac style these are cool yeah they are very cool coleman we had so much coleman stuff Careful. I had to stop because Tammy saw a cat. A cat. That cat. Okay. Wait. I'll zoom in. There it is. <laughs> okay, y'all. Here is a mid-century modern booth that Tammy wants to check out. Um, and if you missed it, I had a live chat a vintage 101 chat with jamie from mid-century wasted and so i will link that right here and in the description below check it out it was a great chat she taught us all about what is mid-century modern what qualifies as mid-century modern we talked about some of the design features and everything else so check it out well this certainly was a disco type of area the music was super super loud but i did want to do a voiceover right here to show you all of the wonderful mid-century modern things that we saw in there they had lucite grapes they had the panther planter thing in the middle of the table 
This booth was full of color, and look at this blue little settee set. Well, I'm calling it a settee set. And those ginormous brass swans, I think Christine from Side Street Market would have loved those. Now, I'm looking around, and I see these little heads. These are the kind that Misty recently turned me on to. I'd never found them before. Now, these are the Lego, not the other kind, but these women have some beautiful profiles. All kinds of goodies in here, more brass. I've never seen a little basket like that, so that is really, really cool. And I'm just stepping back to look at all of the goodies. I've actually seen the odd pieces of this here and there when I'm out thrifting, but never a full set like that. Love this cute little butterfly teapot and the style, and then I get sidetracked snacks. So I did have to go point that out. I just picked one of these David and David Douglas um, things up. I just found it. And look at these owl cookie jars. Oh my gosh. Okay, y'all, those booths that we were just in, um, there's Dearly Departed, which is this one. There's modular goods, and then there's a vintage right there. They're out of Houston, Texas, but will also be in Austin. Great mid-century modern stuff, y'all, so check them out if you're in the mood. Earl and Pearl's Creamery, malts and shakes this way. Well, sign me up. The music is loud, so we're gonna go in because there's a show special, 20% off. This looks like a place I could get some stuff for my plate wall. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness, look at all of these vintage goodies, y'all. Here's some Shawnee. That's a cute little ram planter. And they have a party going on next door. So the music is glass, glass, and more glass. Look at that beautiful little duck. So pretty. Back the clear glass in 2022, y'all. We're gonna be bringing it back. There's a little butter dish. Oh my goodness, all kinds of goodies. Katie would know what all of, there's Cambridge glass, it's actually marked, so that's really good. This is some Fostoria. It's all marked, which is my favorite. And then, <gasps> looky, looky, green, red, green, blue, yellow. What kind of glass do you want? They have it over here. Here's a piece you do not see every day. It's $125. It's a stagecoach candy dish. That is super cool but lots of these place pieces are going to glow. Lots and lots. All of these are gonna glow so good. Just everything is a glow in this basket. Down here, we got a drunk Santa. He's actually in two pieces. So Santa has had too much. And look here, here are some Anna Lee's. There's a hobo Anna Lee and some Valentine's Anna Lee's. Are these Anna Lee's? They look like Anna Lee's. Hold on. Yeah, these are Anna Lee's. Those are super cute. Super, super cute. I'm trying to see how much they are. 32 for those Valentine's ones. Oh my gosh, y'all, human beings. Do you remember those? Y'all, I actually had human being little unders when I was a little girl and they had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on them. That is darling. So cute. This is a little bank. So cute. Of course, we're gonna peruse the vintage Christmas, that little seal. Here's a little witch. That's not Christmas. These are $4 each. All kinds of goodies. Lots of vintage Christmas. 
These look like girly candles right here. Yeah, how cool are those? This could be some tonala. Yeah, it's marked tonala. And it is $18.99, but it is 20% of the carnival glass. Some more blue glass. Bunch of pink depression glass over here. So many pretty things, y'all. Oh my gosh, this one is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. $89. Some lady head vases. Look at this one back here. This one is $45 with 20% off. Wow, look at all of this, Fenton. And look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It is $28.99 with 20% off. So, oh my gosh, how beautiful is that? And this Jack in the Pulpit Fenton piece right here. Holy cow, y'all. All of these Fenton pieces are just absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love this little napkin holder lady. She is $89. That one's really cute. Pepper shakers. Holy cow. Look at all those salt and pepper shakers. <gasps> these are cute. These little bow peeps. Oh my gosh, they're $28 for the set. Here's some Huggies. These are Huggies. Look at these cuties, these little Annalise. Oh my gosh, how cute. I just had an Annalise for Easter. And this little cutie, oh my gosh. The $24 for the candy dispenser. So, so cute. Are these little dream pets? This might be a little dream pet right here. For 12 and this one is 18. Let me see what this is. This is made in India. I don't know if this is a dream pet, but this could be a dream pet. Oh, I can't wait for Tammy to see that one. I have this glass at home. a squeaker. <gasps> he is a squeaker. He's a bunny squeaker. Oh my gosh. Bunny squeaker. And here is the complete set of the squirrel and the salt and pepper shakers. I love the little ink. This bank. What'd you see? Well, look at here, Benny. This is the perfect book for Vinny. Look at there. It's a great little series. And so should you, you ever need body parts, this is the place to go. Oop, tidbits. No tidbits. There's a little elf head. Did you get me an elf head, Bobby? It is cute though. Some people were using these as planters, but that's a bit disturbing. I'm just gonna say. We talked about that last time we were here. Here is a big Jeff egg. It's a cracked egg, but it's called a jagged top egg. And it is $6. It's actually very pretty. $6 is not bad for that big old painted What is this? Oh, I bet you his trunk used to go up. Oh, it does. <gasps> Hold, please. Look at that. Well, that's fun. 
That's a fun Look at this idea. This is a really cute idea. For all of your little boys or little girl, whoever loves Matchbox cars, that's really cool. Okay, so here is a ding dong sign. I think that we just had a conversation about ding dongs and what was the other one on Patrick and Katie's channel? We just had a whole discussion about these type of hostess cakes, which I have never had any of, not even a Twinkie. So I think I've been missing out. But y'all, there's just a vendor after a vendor of antique and vintage goodness. Well, that's one way to drum up business. That should be fun later. Is packed with goodness. What about this? It doesn't have the bottom, but I see that textile can. That's nice and crusty and rusty. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's that one side. There's a lot of kind of industrial stuff. Look at that, the friction tape. Oops. Pretty much, I like popcorn. Look at Lucille Ball up there. Doing cigarettes and garnet snuff up there. It's pretty cool stuff, tobacco stuff up here. Hey okay, y'all, this is one booth. This is just one vendor. There's probably, oh my gosh, I don't know, 500 vendors. Some have smalls. We have a lot of the industrial stuff um, out here this time. Um, but some vendors have smalls and some people have the bigger stuff. But it's fun to look at it all. This is probably like a little Avon. It is Avon. That's cute for St. Patrick's Day. Here's the July 12th post. That's pretty cool. Well, there is certainly no shortage of hens on a nest in this place. They did just have the amber and the white, but I've never seen so many in one place. This is actually a really cute little booth. Um, we were just outside, now we're inside, and they always have some really great stuff. Lots of salt and pepper shakers and toys and things in here. Just some great vintage items overall. Those are five dollars for the set. This is a yarn keeper, and I love the little transfer on that. It's a cute little kitten. And a donkey. You know I love a donkey. He would have had barrels right here for salt and pepper shakers. 
game of cootie. Oh my goodness, that's a fun game. I mean, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that picture is really cool. Here's all the toys. They have a bunch of pull toys. They even have a battery operated drinking dog. And a children's tea set. Oh, there's a slinky dog back there. More Hot Wheels. Those have been popular today. And an elephant. Little elephant toy. Oh, some squeakers. Another squeaker. This one doesn't squeak. And this boy is not a squeaker, but he's demonic. Maybe that's the same thing. Well, look at there. It's $395 for this tree and that one. And the vintage Christmas goodies. Here's some bear lights. Here's some more Christmas lights. Lots of goodies. A little bit of vintage Christmas. I remember they had a lot of vintage Christmas last time. Really cool. And I did see a flower frog and a flower frog. How you doing? Remember he was playing before? He sung a pretty good song, right? Okay? I'm gonna go through here and that one. There's a gentleman that always comes out and uh, plays his guitar and sings his own music while he's out here. So. And this is the booth that had all of the like industrial ephemera, ephemera and stuff. our friend that sings and serenades us every time we're out here last time he played seven spanish angels for me so that was one of my daddy's favorite songs this still has pills in it i wonder what that's for oh for acute diarrhea nice and some baby cough syrup I probably wouldn't give that to the baby. Yeah. Not a good idea. This is the place that has all of the blow molds. There's even a bunny blow mold. That one is $80. There's a bunch of Halloween ones. Oh, spooky. Another bunny. stuff. Some uranium. Let's 
some more bunny blow molds. Look at all those. Oh, these are cool. This peanut butter Wizard of Oz is a hundred dollars. And here's a little glow bank. It is twenty-seven fifty for the little globe. Red owl. This one is nine dollars. Some all spice is nine dollars. Oh, look at this mustard. Ten dollars. How many of those did y'all throw away back in the day? Some bingo cards for $3. They make great um, little package toppers. And also, Mary from Reclaim Treasures by Mary makes some really cool pieces out of those. Oh, look at this lunchbox. This lunchbox is $97.50. These little this little set of Made in Japan. The two pieces are 18. Easter. So I have some of these pieces at the shop. Hmm. I didn't know what they were. I have a, a guy and a table, a man and a table. Oh, Tammy. Where is Tammy? Why is she not over here? I guess I'll need to text her. Hey, you see Tammy in them? Just gotta look at these brooches. It's another table full of Fenton. I think that would probably glow because it's almost glowing in the sunlight, but it's 65. This is 95. They've got some encased glass. Got some hobnail with the opalescent. Really pretty stuff. That one's pretty unusual. 65. Yeah, those Fenton pieces are so pretty. Well, look at there. All stuff bad. Nice to see you here. We haven't we haven't seen you in so long. <laughs> Got all kinds of goodies out here, y'all. All kinds of goodies. She's a cutie. Neiman Marcus little girl. She's $12.95. She's cute. Oh, I love this little sign. That is so cute. Look how beautifully she has it all set up. Just giving you all kinds of ideas about how to set this stuff up. Some sheet music. We know I don't need any more of that. But great display. She takes good pride in her displays. And I also love, look here's some little Pez dispensers. That's cute. Look at the hair. Um, I love this. So the tiles, this is just a way for people to make their own kind of displays. And this is a cute little ephemera bowl. Now all the vintage cards are 50 cents each. 
And isn't that cute? Because you just need one or two to put in a display, maybe with the number 17 or the number um, 25 or something like that. But some that are Easter, those are so cute. And you don't need to buy a whole deck, but they make great little ones for flower frogs. Again, look at just some of the displays that she has put together. It just makes it fun to look at. Definitely, definitely fun to look at. And look, that baby, it says, he be, she be. Ooh. Here is a hospitality. It says hospitality begins with the sociable set. There you go. Bunch of banks. Look at that big eyed fish. Oh, strawberry bank. $12. I have the big one like this. I sure do. I have the big one at my house. It's so cute. Oh, these are cute. These little ladybugs. Those are cute. I wonder how much those ladybugs are. They're like witches' ladybugs. There's our new stove. It lifts up. I'd probably use it about as much as I use my current one. We have shopped till we drop. I don't actually know where Tammy and Old Stuff Beth and Lori are. I lost them. Finally did find Lovey. That's a good thing. But it's been a fun, fun day. And I want you to stay tuned to see the haul. I'm not sure when we're gonna do it, if we're gonna do it together or if we're gonna do it separate. But you'll get to see what we got. So make sure that you subscribe to the other ladies' channels as well as if you are not subscribed to mine, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you put the thumbs up to let me know that you like the shop along type of content. And don't forget that notification bell to all notifications so you will know when we post a video, like the haul, or even if we do a live haul and we go live. So thanks so much for watching y'all. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye. Before you leave, I just wanted to show you a little bit of what it's like as you drive into the area that we went shopping. Now this round top area during antique weeks is full of vintage and antique vendors. This W there at the top of that big iron gate stands for the Bar W Field. That is one of the places that Tammy and Miss Martha and I love to go thrifting and antiquing in during antique weeks. And we do meetups several times a year. So if you're ever interested and in the area, hit us up on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram right here so that you can let us know you're interested in meeting up with us. Typically it is October and March, I believe, are the two times that we really go um, that are the bigger areas to shop. So we'd love to have you come shop along. Thanks for watching, y'all.